I wanted to create a character that used artificial intelligence in order to reach a broad public, where artificial intelligence really became her brain, and that she could reach out into a virtual space and communicate information that was available on the internet. Nobody could understand that concept when I started it, so I made the film Technolust in order to make Agent Ruby. Technolust was about a cyborg actually becoming impregnated by and falling in love with a human, and that, that the merger between the two. The film had a character named Ruby that operated on the internet, and the Agent Ruby portal was then built as a reflection of what existed in that film. And so we have Agent Ruby as kind of a virtual character on the internet that people can type to and she'll scroll the internet to find reactions and answers to what you, uh, as, as a viewer, any place in the world, ask her. The actual participation in a work completes it. So I see that where we are in culture and in society, and maybe in evolution, you know, is that we're physical beings and we're reaching through screens to kind of take out the information that's in inside of a virtual space and bring it back towards our physicality. There are people that believe that the screens have superior intelligence and their own intelligence and their own will, which in a sense what it was what Technolust was about, and that, that it's the characters within the screen that is reaching towards us and bringing us into them so that eventually we'll all be one unit. Humans are so different from us. They can't repair themselves, they age, they die, they live in perpetual self-doubt. They hurt each other, they, they even kill each other. I don't understand their engines. We are such an improvement. Why aren't there more of us? It's tipping the balance, it's not symbiotic. I do believe that the virtual world is gaining quickly in its intelligence, its ability to repair it and, and replicate itself, and in the function that it has in controlling our information and really the world itself.